morning. Let's continue our journey in the revenue management field. Last episode, I talk about uh, pricing strategy, fencing, how we measure our performance to check how market is reacting and how we are behaving and how we are strategizing or reacting to the market and getting best out of it. We use RevPAR, revenue per available room. And RevPAR is the key to measure the performance, not only with our comp set, and also if you want to compare with the budget, our actual prior year, RevPAR is a key, key in the hotel management. Now to measure our performance, we have to calculate the RevPAR. And RevPAR can be calculated once we know our occupancy and our average rate. So there are three measurements, occupancy, average rate, and the sum of these two is a ref bar. Ref bar is a final product. To understand the performance measurement, first we need to understand how our comp set is behaving and what is our comp set is. Once we finalize our comp set, which are similar in our size or our product or similar area, we start working on the performance measurement comparing with the comp set. So what is a fair market share? Let's take an example of a pizza. It has a five slices. Let's say each slice is a comp set. And the fair distribution is we have five equal slices. Like out of 100, everybody get 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%. That's what we call a fair distribution. But in the business, fair distribution is different. For today's video, we'll take four comp set and our hotel. So five hotel will be comparing. Let's say our hotel is 100 room. Competition 1 is 106 room, competition 2 is 185 room, competition 3 is 86 which means smaller than our hotel and competition 4 is 95 room. So we have 5 hotels which will be compared. So we will use this 5 hotel to find out the hotel performance. What's actual market share? Actual market share is based on the how many rooms each hotel is having. I just explained you about the rooms. My hotel 100 rooms, competition comp one is 106, then 185 room, 86 room and 95 rooms, different size of hotels. To calculate the actual market share, we take out the percentage, how much percentage of the inventory each hotel is holding. If I add all the rooms, it's 17,160 rooms. So I divide 3,000 by 17,160, I get a fair market share, which is 17%, 17.5% for my hotel. Similarly for competition one, they have 3,180 rooms. And if I divide by 17,160, it become 18.5. Competition two is 32%, competition three is 15%, and competition four is 16%. So we know now the uh, fair market share. This much business they should be getting. And now the entire tussle will be who get how much share and that's what we calculate in our market performance. So let's talk about the occupancy first. We call it MPI, Market Penetration Index. How much occupancy I'm gaining within the competition? How do we calculate it? Let's say my hotel is 82%, competition one is 68%, competition two is 71%, Competition 3 is 73% and competition 4 is 81%. I'll take out the average. Average comes to 75%. If I add the occupancy for all the hotels, divide by 5, it's 75%. Now my hotel occupancy, 82% divided by the average, which is 75. The product is 1.10, which means I'm gaining the market. My share is 10% more than my fair market share. Competition 1 is 68%, so MPI is 0.92. It means they are losing their market compared to the fair market share. Competition 2 is 0.95, again they are losing the occupancy. Competition 3 is 0.98, almost in line but still losing. And competition 4, 1.09, which means they are gaining. So this MPI show us how much we are penetrating in the market. I am taking my actual share or I am eating somebody's share. In this calculation, I'm eating somebody's share. Me and competition four are very aggressive in the market. We are gaining, but competition one, competition two, and competition three, slightly losing market. 
Now the important is how we calculate the occupancy. The formula is very simple. Room occupied divided by the room available. So it's the occupancy. Available room exclude the permanent closed room, which are six months over permanent house use, which is again over six months or seasonal room. We have to take them out. And for the occupied room, we have to take out the complementary and the house use room. When we do it, occupancy can be calculated. I'll give you one exercise. A hotel has 100 room inventory. In the month of June, the total number of occupied rooms were 2160, with 30 rooms given on a complementary basis, two rooms being permanent house for a full month. Also, seven rooms was out of order for 120 days. Now calculate the occupancy for the month of June. I have suggested answer 69%, 70, 71, 72%. Do this exercise to calculate occupancy. The second pointer is the average rate. The same formula is used, but the average rate is used. We call it ARI, Average Rate Index. Earlier was MPI, Market Penetration Index. This is ARI, Average Rate Index same formula we take five hotel we take the average rate of all five hotel we take out the average and then divide the rate of a hotel with their average in this calculation my hotel average rate is 3673 completion one is 4413 completion two is 4021 competition three is 3989 and competition four is only 2,966. Again, we take out the average rate. At all the rate of the hotels, divide by five. The product is 3,825. We'll do the similar exercise, what we have done in occupancy. We divide the average rate of our hotel, which is 3,673, with the average rate of all hotels, which is 3,825. The ARI, or the product is 0.96. It shows I'm not very aggressive in terms of rate compared to my competition. Competition was 1.15, which means they're more aggressive in the market. Competition two, again, 1.05. Competition three is 1.04. And competition four, 0.78, they're losing. So this calculation shows which hotel is aggressive in the market in terms of the rate or selling better. Competition 1 is 1.15, it's on the highest. And the lowest is competition 4, which is 0.78. So when we do this calculation, we know how, how we are operating in the market. Are we really aggressive? Are we getting our market share or an average rate? No, we are below, we are 0.96. But we see competition 1 is doing very well, 1.15. Quite a good rate compared to the average of the market. Again, average rate of a hotel is calculated by taking room revenue and divide by the room occupied. Here we have to be careful in calculating the room revenue. We have to exclude the taxes, service charge, packages or any other revenue such as no-shoes. An occupied room, it excludes the complementary and house use. So when we take it out and we, then we can calculate the average room rate. So here the exercise for you is a hotel total room revenue is, uh, let's say in the March, 295,000 and it includes the no-show of 5,000. Total occupied room for the same month is 70, out of which three were complimentary and two house use. Now calculate the average rate. I'll give you suggested answer. 5,643 or 5,571 or 5,808 or 6,000. Just calculate and see which one is the correct answer. When you find the correct answer, Put in the comments, I'll revert to you. Or you can send me a mail. Go to my website, hoteliersfinance.com and you can connect with me. The final one is a ref bar, the product of the occupancy and the average rate. The performance is measured by using RGI, which is Revenue Generating Index. Let's see how to calculate the ref bar first. The ref bar formula is very simple. Total room revenue divided by the rooms available. Not room occupied, room available. Revenue per available room. Now the room revenue exclude any no-shows, taxes, service charge and packages. 
that's my total room revenue and my available room exclude permanent closed room over six months permanent house use over six months and any seasonal room i have an exercise for you here a same like uh, i did for the occupancy and the adr for the occupancy and the average rate here we'll take the hotel room revenue total let's say 395000 and the no show revenue is 5000 same as my previous example the total occupied room for the same month was 70 out of which three were complementary to house use and total available room are 100 where two rooms out of order for 180 days so calculate calculate the ref part suggested answer is 3950 3900 4030 or 3979 just remember to take total available room not total occupied room calculate it write your answer and again we're going to discuss how we calculate the rgi after we calculate the ref bar in our example my hotel ref bar is 3022 comp 1 is 3019 comp 2 is 2861 Com 3 is 2,900 and Com 4 is 2,413. We take out the average. How we take out the average? We add all of them, divide by the 5. That's the average. Average is 2,850. Now to calculate the RGI, I divide the ref bar of my hotel with the average ref bar. So 3,022 divided by 2,850, that's average. My RGI is 1.06 comp 1 rj also 1.06 comp 2 is 1 comp 3 is 1.02 and comp 4.85 so now this is the product we can see most of us is doing good except the comp 4 but when we check the ari or mpi it look different but the final product is checked by the rgi which is revenue generating index now in the screen, I have a daily index for a month of October for my hotel. You can see there's a straight line. That's my average 100. Blue line is my MPI, my occupancy. And you can see on 3rd of October, I'm ahead of my competition. Again, I'm below competition and 6th, again, I'm ahead. So the blue line indicates how I'm performing in terms of my competition. Red is the ADR, which is average rate, and we can see we are below the average rate of the market and green is a ref bar and you can see the green line moves ahead with the occupancy and ADR when they move towards when they come close to the average rate. So when I see this chart I know how I'm performing the market and that's my market performance and based on this chart or the numbers I start changing my strategy I start changing my plans. If I want to calculate the RGI or my performance compared to my competition, I need the two numbers from the competition, either the average rate or total room revenue or room sold or occupancy. Any of these two, if I get every day, I can start calculating how my performance is in terms of the market. You can see it my screen, this is full calculation of the market performance. You can look at the MPI, ARI, RGI, and then rep power ranking one, two, three, four, five which hotel is doing what. If my competition is participating in such programs, then I can get online reports every day. But if not, then we have to calculate. And I just showed you the calculation. Once we get these two numbers from my competition, I get this report. It can be presented in other way also. You can see my other screen. This more readable screen. Earlier was more from the calculation. And here you can see how many rooms each competition has, what's available room for a month, then we do a fair market share, which I explained you earlier, how to calculate the fair market share. And then based on the room sold and total room revenue, we find out our actual market share, our occupancy, average rate, and then obviously the ref bar. So these calculations need to be done every day to find out our market performance. So when the competition also share, we all share with this, this information. We send our details to the competition, either to room sold and total room revenue. And this data is calculated. Few of our hotels are doing it. 
if some of the competition is not participating, I will not know how I am performing in terms of uh, that competition if they are in my composite. So sharing data is more easy. It used to be many years. If I talk about uh, more than a decade, 10 year or 15 year, 20 year, it was very common practice. But slowly and slowly, everybody start relying on the online reports. But for me, it is advisable to do yourself. When you do it and you create some sort of trust with your competition that yes, I share these two numbers with you every day, you share your number with me because they also want to know how I am performing. I will know which hotel is ahead of me, which hotel is behind me, what's your average rate, what's competition average rate, not each one average rate. So you know it, but you don't know it actually because you don't have the clear view. So if I use online reports, it's very difficult to know who's ahead of me, who's behind me, what, which hotel start losing and gaining. But when we start sharing data and we start calculating ourselves, which I just showed you, we'll know each day what's happening, which day, which competition was strong, and then we have entire data. But again, we have to create a trust with our concept, sharing the number, we call it market intelligence, we should do it regularly. Without knowing where we are, we cannot compete. We need to know our weakness, our strong point. And if we are behind in occupancy or in average rate, with any of my comp set, with any of my competition, even if my product is better, but again I'm losing the rate, so they must be doing something different. They may be selling better, the team is more smart, they're more active their strategy, their plan are working and my strategy is not working because I'm losing in my ARI is going down or maybe my MPI is higher, I'm penetrating in market but not at the correct rate below the average rate. When we know this, we know how to react and how to give the best performance. It's important to understand the actions of the competition and then correcting our course. This is important and how do I know? If I use RGI, if I use ARI, if I use MPI and I start calculating. But again, if you can get a trust with your competition, if you can create it and start sharing the number, only two numbers, you don't need to share everything. Total revenue and the room sold, any of it, all occupancy, any of the number, two numbers are enough to calculate this big report. And if you do it every day, it helps you to manage business better. It helps the revenue managers to know what's going on. It helps the general manager to understand about the hotel. It helps the financial controller, director of finance, everyone, even the corporate offices, and even the owners and the investors, how we are, how my competition, how we are behaving. That's all I have. I hope you like it. If you want to know how these Excel sheets are working, how do we calculate daily, Connect to me through my website, hotelierfinance.com. There's a link, send a message to me, or you can comment in my video. I'll get back to you. Have a nice day.